Welcome back guys to the part 2 video of uh, grade 9 chapter 7 lesson 6 exponential functions okay so here we're done with y equals to 2x similarly if we go back to the book page here it is okay similarly you can draw this one you will find the values of x and y always whenever you have the equation create a table x okay let me change the color so to be clear for you x and y and here you'll keep on inserting the values of x we'll take small numbers let's say here they're taking from negative 4 to 4 we can simply take from negative 2 then negative 1 0 1 and 2 i think that's enough so we'll keep on inserting the values of x here in the place of exponents and after solving it we'll get the values of y like we solved the last one this one first one so in this way you can solve this one this one and this one now let's move to the next page. Here it is. Okay. Problem one identifying linear and exponential functions. Does the table or rule represent a linear or an exponential function? Okay, now we have a table. We don't have an equation. We have a table. So from the table, we have to find out that it is an exponential or a linear function and guys you know that the generic equation for exponential functions is y is equals to a times b to the power x so we'll see from this data that can we find this kind of form can we find an equation of this kind so we'll say that it is an exponential function if not we can say that it is a linear function okay so we can see that the common ratio between them is three the common ratio is three so guys remember this the b is always the common ratio b is always the common ratio okay if i say that y is equals to i don't know the a so i keep it empty b i know that there is a common ratio whenever there is a common ratio it is an exponential function like this one multiplication or division common ratio there is a ratio the ratio between each y value is three so there is a common ratio so it will be an exponential function okay let's find the equation so we can say that the common ratio is three so b is three x we'll insert the value 0 1 2 3 so we'll just write x okay now let's say for example if i insert 0 0 it will be 1 but my y is negative 1 it means what it means that a is negative 1 so i can write that for this function y is equals to negative 3 to the power x whatever the values i put for example if zero so it will be negative one if one here it will be negative three if two here it will be negative nine and if three here it will be negative 27. similarly guys if you see this one here we are inserting and the x is not in the exponential place x is a variable so it is not an exponential function it is a linear function you can write here linear function okay similarly if we see down from this one these two questions here can we find a common ratio here something times or division nothing right we can see that this is plus to similarly here plus two no common ratio addition so this is a linear this is a linear function and this one by seeing we can say that a is three a is equals to three and b is equals to six and x here it is guys on the last page i showed you the generic form of the exponential function this one y is equals to a times b to the power x so we can see that our equation this one is in the form of exponential function so this is an exponential function okay let's go down here now suppose 
30 floor beetles are left undistributed in a warehouse. Bin. The beetle population doubles each week. The function f of x, boys, we can write it as, for example, f of x is also y output. We can write if we have two more than two functions, like more than one functions, so we can give them other names, like f of x for the first function, g of x for the second function, like that, okay? So if we, f of x is also output, you can say it y. Okay, they give us the function that is 30 times 2 to the power x. It is in the form of a times b to the power x. So we can say that this is an exponential function. Okay, gives the population after x week. We don't know the weeks. So how many beetles will there be after 56 days? So we have to find out that how many days, uh, how many uh, weeks equals to 56 days. So 56 days is equals to 8 weeks. So now we know the x. x weeks means 8 weeks. So we'll insert the value of x here in this function. 30 times 2 to the power x. 2 to the power 8, that is 256 times 30. It will give us 7,608. So after 56 days, there will be 7,680 beetles in this form. We find it. Okay. Now... Uh, this for this one guys we are finding the values for single x on the previous page we were finding the values for a range okay an initial population of 20 rabbits okay keep this thing in mind guys the initial value always equals to a so here the initial value 20 that is equals to a 20 in the function the function is remember guys y equals to a times b to the power x so the initial value a the initial value 20 a okay the initial population of 20 rabbits triples every half year half year the function they give us the function 20 times 3 to the power x gives the population after x half years now we don't know how many half years but we know the total years which is three years how many rabbits will there be after three years? So how many half years we have in three years? We have six half years. So we'll insert x equals to six because in three years we have six half years. So x is equals to six. So we can say, okay, let me write it clear on the blackboard. Oh, it's even here, it's okay. Uh, f of x is equals to 20 times 3 to the power 6 and 3 to the power 6 guys you know that 729 times 20 that is equals to 14,580 okay Let's move to the, you can pause the video and copy if you want. Move to the next page. Here it is now. Again, guys, the function, exponential function. Whenever you see the function in this form, y equals to a times b to the power x, this is exponential function. Uh, they are inserting the values of x here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then they are getting the values of y and they're plotting it so you can see the shape is also in the form of exponential function okay down here we have two more questions i will do this one for you and this one you guys have to do it by yourself okay uh, but in another part because video is getting longer so there will be a third part for this video guys for you so don't forget to watch the third part of exponential functions